<laughs> okay, this is one of several attempts to try to do this, and I've thrown a little bit of complication into the mix of the, the subject that I was going to cover, and that was basically the wills of individuals that had a, a direct or indirect connection with uh, Dr. Charles Morton. But I thought to myself it would be wise, since I had uh, a couple pieces of information handy to make the case that I asserted before, but now I'm going to show um, proof uh, of um, information that should probably be used in the Dictionary of National Biography uh, for its next update. I, by no means, do I place any restriction or copyright on this information. I'm passing it on for informational purposes. All my videos are for information, either for fun or for the good of other mankind. So take take my word for it now. You know, but I'm not guarding on to any information and, and backing anybody into a corner and not be able to use my results here. Um, and so this part of this presentation is actually going to be aimed towards helping out uh, the folks that make the Dictionary of National Biography make a few corrections. That's going to be one of my aims. And um, so I'm going to present the proof that I have to the extent that I have it. And I think it's pretty good proof and go over the whole thing. Um, so where to start? Okay, so we have Dr. Charles Morton's first wife was named Mary Berkeley, and and I'll just take a look at this Oxford Dictionary of National Biography quickly, and I'm just going to point out the two things that I know to be incorrect that um, I am just hopeful that my fact number one asserted here in uh, the Dictionary of National Biography it states that he, meaning Charles Morton, Mary, Mary Berkeley, and Scott died 1768. Now, the source cited for that is the International Genealogical Index, Paris Register of Burials, Twickenham, 6 October 1768. October 1768. Now, this I have uh, courtesy of Google. In fact, I, I wouldn't know half, quarter, uh, three quarters of things that I've come to find out over from Google Books. But this uh, publication here of the histories and antiquities of Twickenham by Edward Ironside, uh, published in 1797, pretty much verifies what the IGI says. And that's, that is that a Mary Berkeley, not a Mary Morton, was buried at Twickenham on October 6, 1768. And this is these are entries, entries from the um, from the parochial registers, which the introductions here on page I think thirteen. But this page is actually page that couldn't be eighteen. Maybe it's twenty eight up there. Okay, that's the source cited. The next now, now, now okay now let's get now, okay now I'm gonna show you another record that's gonna cause another problem. Get some of the head scratching down there at the Dictionary of National Biography, and maybe that'll be good. Maybe that might help open up some doors to more information that I'd like to have. Um, okay, the next piece of information that is cited in this Dictionary of National Biography is something that I. I almost recognize right away as something to look into further. And that is um, a marriage date, his marriage date to Eliza Pratt, no, sorry, to Mary Lady Savile, cited as being 1772. And if I could find that, here we go. This period also saw the death of his first wife, Mary, in 1768, which is not right, it was actually 1751, if the Collins Peerage is correct, and that right now is the most authoritative piece of information that I have, and you'll see why. Um, and his marriage to Lady Mary Savile, Nee Pratt, 1706 to 1791, I agree with those dates, and they're backed up by actually by source records in 1772. Let's try 
right there. Okay, now you look at the bottom over here for a 1772 marriage date. You're not going to find it. There's some marriage records, and here is uh, Charles Morton Way, Mary Pl Platt in 1767. Now, this is also backed up, by the way, by, um, by, um, Announcements in the general, ma the gentleman's magazine, or annual register, and a number of other newspapers. <coughs> okay, around this date. Here we go. So this is actually the parish register entry from St. George George Bloomberry's, the church that's right across the street from um, the museum. It's page seven, seventeen sixty-seven. Charles Morton, Esquire of the this parish and Mary Wallace of the parish of I, I gather to guess that's Twickenham but I'm not quite sure were married in this church by license this 25th day of August 1767 now, down there it says M. Wallace. Where the hell did I get M. Wallace from? That's a different Charles Morton. No, it's not. And I'll explain to you how I know that is not a different Charles Morton. Indeed. And I'm just going to search for Morton. Right I'm going to look for Wallace. The author of this book, Edith Milner, wrote this book for There are no Milner descendants of Dr. Charles Morton, or Benham descendants of Dr. Charles Morton. This person went in here with historical interest, but mostly geared towards the Lumley family. If there was any bias, it was to make the Lumley family look better than they really did, but certainly it wasn't to um, make... Dr. Charles Morton, Lee Savile look better, although I didn't, I'm not saying that she tried to make him look worse, but we tried, you know, if we want to talk about biases um, against whether, you know, this record is made up or not, I don't think that this was, here we go, perfect page, page 207, every remarks, Lady Savile married to Captain Wallace. And we just saw Captain Wallace, right? We just saw a Wallace, that is Mary Wallace. 1767, marriages and births, and September 1st, we have 25th with uh, Charles Morton, M.D., to Lady Sable. Okay, that ends that discussion. So that was Mary Wallace. She was not married to him in 1772. She was married to him in 1767. And no, Mary Berkeley was not buried in uh, I get back to the Oxford Dictionary it was not buried in 1768 because of course that would make either uh, Dr. Charles a divorced man or a a um, bigamist but I, I Lady uh, Mary Berkeley's um, actual burial date okay I'm going to stop with this here because I'm going to